Okay, so I have just purchased this house this month. Uh, there are a few things about it that I've already learned about when I went through here with the inspector. He pointed out a few things. There are a few things I've learned that were impossible for him to figure out based on what was going on prior with the problems. Um, so, there's oddities. <laughs> uh, the first one is... I had to get binary on this thing and figure out a problem. You'll notice there's a light on in this corner. This light is operated by four different switches. So here's a switch here. And here's a switch here. And here's a switch. And then here's switch number four. All right, so four switches. The problem is, I was running around, something's odd with these switches. And I'll show you the magic. Anytime switch two is up, no other switch will work. So here's one. Here's four. And here's number Here's number three. There we go. And now it's on because I just switched switch number two. I had to actually get binary because there are four switches. There are 16 different states. It's binary. You go two, four, eight, 16. Um, and I wrote down all the different states of when the switches were flipped up. And I noticed a pattern with switch number two is that it could never be on and have the circuit be powered. So um, I think switch number two might be a, a just a regular uh, on-off switch. Normally when you have two switches operating the same circuit, you have two three-way switches. Uh, there's like uh, an extra wire that travels between those two three-way switches that lets you um, flip the the circuit of which one's active. Uh, if you want more switches, all additional switches in between the two three-way switches must be four-way switches. And they flip uh, the two wires coming in with the two wires going out with uh, where the power's going. Uh, I've never done it myself, but I've watched a lot of videos. I understand the theory and the concept. So I may take a crack at it, but I think switch number two is just not the correct switch at all. Uh, part, of, part of the things, I don't know much about electrical, but I'm going to have to figure out which switch is in the beginning of the circuit, which switch is in the end of the circuit, and then are are those set up as three ways and are all others four way switches um so i know somebody who knows somebody right now who does electrical so i guess they're going to take a look at it but uh, i we'll see all right so the next problem i had was the uh the fan the fan lights at the top dome were not operating and we were trying all kinds of things and when I, one of the first things I did when I got the house was uh, I actually had to replace the bulbs. I saw they were Christmas bulbs. I went and got nightlight LED bulbs, replaced them, and they work. So now, ta-da, the top, oh, no, top lights are not, there we go, ta-da, the top lights are working. Uh, more about that in a minute. All right, um, however, the, I was having problems where it seemed like the top light never went off. Wait a minute, and I'll show you what the magic was. So there's actually a cord up here that lets the power go to the bottom of the light. And that was confusing me. I didn't, I didn't realize what was going on because it seemed like any time I flipped this switch on, either one, they were doing the same exact thing. <laughs> so you see both lights are coming on. 
and I think it was this switch here. So it's like, oh, wait a minute. I can't have this, this light at the top off ever. But uh, I have since learned that this, this cord up here lets power flow to the bottom. So, and then this one is just, it's just weird. It, it confuses me, but I can now control the top or the bottom or both. Well, both just means they're both on. <laughs> which, uh, you know what? I wonder which one does the fan, is the fan operated by both of them? Nope, the fan is only operated by the bottom one. Unless, unless that, that little draw drawstring cord is on. So, fun stuff. Uh, I would like to get that kind of uh, addressed. I don't know. Something's really weird about it that confused me in the first place. All right. Um, I mean, I would like to get the kitchen fan with two switches as well. I, I, I don't know about having lights and fans on the same switch. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, I have other problems that I've got to fix around the house that are simple. Uh, the outlet uh, on the deck, I think, is missing a cover plate. Let's see. I'll take it. No. The cover plate's fine. What was it? I think it was cracked. Do we see it crack? There we go. It's cracked. And then the uh, the outlet on the front porch is the one that's cracked. Or no, is the one that's missing the cover plate. And then the uh, the outlet in the downstairs laundry room has no power at all. So, hello. There we go. And uh, neighbor walking his dog. And then uh, I want to replace all the outdoor light fixtures because they're kind of like corroding with their brass or something. And they're, some are falling apart with their, they don't have all their screws. So, I mean, I'd like to have things looking nice. And I'd like to have two floodlights, well, a floodlight on each corner in the back of the house to kind of shine down into the yard so that when I take Teddy out or I'm doing something in the backyard, having friends over, uh, there's adequate lighting and stuff out there. So that's, that's stuff I like to get set up. So I, I have this handyman in the neighborhood who knows somebody who does electrical work uh, so that they might come over and take a look at it, but uh, they haven't come over yet. Hmm. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, it's just uh, it it just depends on when everybody's time comes into line comes into lining up. Uh, yeah, so lots of little projects around the house that that pretty much covers all of the electrical projects that I have to do. Oh, I want to set up uh, another nest cam outside, right underneath the deck, looking down at the basement door and the garage door because that's the area where people leave packages. And I don't always get notified. Uh, well, it's more like I'll get a notification on my phone, sometimes hours afterwards. <laughs> and with Nest, I, I've noticed that uh, in the past, it's detected movement and I've been notified immediately. So it'd be nice to be notified immediately when a package is outside my door. Even though I'm home, I'd like to pick it up immediately <laughs> I don't like to have stuff setting out especially if I'm waiting for it and uh, that would be a nice little security addition to have to the house um, so that's about it uh, so yeah fun stuff fun home projects <laughs>